Hey. Sex, nice. drugs, etc. Beach weather is in our studio right now. Hey, gentlemen, how are you? What's up, guys? <laughs> Do you, um, you know, we joke about that because I think that's probably our most played song right now on K Rock, has been for a while. Um, are you sick of it yet? I love it still, and I keep waiting to get sick of it just because of the amount of times we play it. And yet, it is the number one song that people call us about and text us while it's on and say, hey, what is this? Who sings this? Because people are constantly looking for it. We were just saying that. It's kind of the goal, right? To like have a song that gets played so much that we get sick of it, you know? Yeah, but so. still not. Still <laughs> so not sick want. of it yeah, yet. Not sick of it not yet. yet. Not yeah. yet. My mom still loves it. Yeah, she, she loves it. Really well, that's all that matters then. But it's called Sex, Drugs, Etc. Do you think your mom had a little bit of a problem with it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah. it's just pop, mom. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else. Pop music is too. Yeah, it's a great name for a song. Yeah, right away, immediately, I was like, these are all things I can get behind, especially the Etc. <laughs> Do you think that the moment you went viral on TikTok or the moment you got on K-Rock was more, uh, more of a... You know, moment for you as a K Rock. K Rock, yeah, for sure. Gotta say that. Wait, what 100%. happened? Which one of you? One of you was driving for what? Uber or something? You were. Reeves. Reeves, what happened? Uber Eats. Yeah, so what So, so what happened? You're driving Uber Eats, dropping off someone's food. Yeah, the sushi, matter of fact. And uh, I remember it well. Yeah, that, that's when I heard the song for the first time. So wait a minute. You're dropping off an order, and you're, yeah. you have K Rock on. Yeah. As we recommend all food delivery drivers have on, and you hear your song, now, unexpected to you, it was going to be played, or you knew it was coming up? Oh, I didn't know. No, I, I was just Surprise. chilling. Yeah. Did you still <laughs> drop off the food, or did you realize, now I don't have to deliver food? I, no, I'm I, a huge I, I success. I went to their house, and I was like, I'm going to let you know, this isn't just any sushi <laughs> that you're about to eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is famous sushi now. <laughs> so how much longer did you, did you quit your job right then? Uh, no, I gave it like another month. No, I think <laughs> we made, made sure this was for real. Yeah, you know? exactly. You might need to pick that back up when you get home. Yeah. That Uber Eats. Well, it's yeah. interesting. <laughs> you know, you guys have a. I always am so fascinated. We talked to bands. We just actually had Depeche Mode on yesterday. Uh, oh. So no, no pressure for you guys. But um, and talk about like when bands kind of have that moment where they split up or they take a hiatus or they take a break and then, and at some point, Nick, I think I think it was you, but you were ready to just. Maybe you thought yeah. this this was done. This band was over before it actually like kind of popped to the world. Yeah, you guys are yeah. Right we now. started it in 2015, and then we took it on the road for a couple of years, and just kind of at some point we just it was blurry. We didn't really know what to do with well, it's it. Such and a grind. Right? Yeah, and like at that point, I personally was doing it with a previous band for like almost a decade at that point. So I was kind of just getting burnt out, and these guys were a little like Reed was a little new to it at the time, and. I think we were just all in different paths at that point. We we're like, maybe we just need to reset. So we went home, and I personally got married, had two kids, and then Sean starts calling me. He's like, "Let's write songs again." And I was like, "Let's write songs." So we did, and we made a record. And then I know we're, your we're album back. comes yeah, out this perfect. Friday, right? Yeah, it's it already comes out Friday. The pineapple sunrise already being embraced by the swinger community. You know, pineapple, <laughs> as we've learned, is like one of those fruits that has a million different meanings for different people. Mm -hmm. Should people read too much into the title, pineapple sunrise? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's about <laughs> swinger parties for sure. Oh, cool. No, I, for me, when we were writing it, it's kind of just a, a record about finding yourself, self-discovery, kind of like kind of like our whole little break, just taking that re like mental reset, figuring out what it is that you want to do in your life. And then the thing that you should be doing came knocking all along, you know, was there all along, just came knocking late and was like, hey, actually, this is a cool thing. And for me, that's what this whole album is about, is kind of just like being, I don't know, confident in yourself and like trying to find that. You know what's cool is that you guys are doing a, a kind of an album release party at yeah. a is a mini golf course. <laughs> yeah, in, in, in like is Norwalk? it mini golf? Yeah, I think uh, I think we're doing a little yeah. mini mini golf. So thing, yeah. I just so, thought it was called golf, golf and, stuff, and stuff, and I was like, that's yeah. the best name ever. But it's you guys, so stuff. between in two days, you'll be releasing your album uh, doing at a golf. Then you're going to play at the top of Big Bear Mountain with us, mm -hmm. K Rock Storms Bear Mountain. Two pretty great places to throw shows. Do you remember early, like early shows? You're just trying to get like any booked anywhere. What were some of like the, the worst places where you're like, oh man, oh, we man. got we got booked to play a flea market again? I've played like I've played in a Buffalo Wild Wings. Before. I remember <laughs> one we had where it was like uh, some students told us it was like a show, but we showed up. It was like that gymnasium. There oh was, yeah, like, ten yeah. people there. there ten like, people. <laughs> we're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> hi kids. This yeah. is nice. It was in well, Connecticut or at something. At a Buffalo Wild Wings, they at least give you some free wings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that okay. golf. Yeah, right. We okay, got some food. It was okay. You are now at a point where you have you, you have recognizable songs now. You are getting the respect, Crazy. right, as a band that you don't get a lot of respect. That's a total switch, right, where all of a sudden now you can start demanding things. Have oh, you respect around here. What is the demand? <laughs> what what have, what has Beachweather demanded that we have for them uh, up at Big Bear? Uh, do we have any? Do you yeah, have a now, rider you guys yet? Have a rider? Yeah, it's got beef jerky on it. <laughs> beef jerky, red wine, and yeah. a snowboard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Are you guys brand whores when it comes to beef jerky? 
No, uh, old, trapper. old Trapper. Reeve likes, a, Reeve likes like his old, a nice trapper. old Trapper. Yeah. yeah. Or right, like so a nice local. local. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 nice local jerky. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like a craft jerky. It's funny when you say that because, you know, people will listen now and then word gets out and then randomly you said shows 20 years from now and people are still handing you like beef bags jerky. of beef jerky. Yeah. Like, well, we've all gone vegan yeah, five years ago. Yeah, what you yeah. say yeah. now. Yeah. If you yeah. plant the seeds now, it will yeah. still will be there forever. Okay, I'll, I'll take dried mango from now on. All right, fair enough. You can tell they're successful at this point. Congrats on the new album. Uh, it is uh, coming out tomorrow officially. Uh, I think this song. I don't. I don't even know if you guys keep track, but I think you've been on the top ten chart for. I don't know. I going keep on. track. Yeah, you do. How, yeah, how yeah. long has it been? What's a the couple streak? weeks, right? I mean, the last week it was the number one. Yeah, or, it's been number one, but I think it's been top ten I think for, it's for a yeah, while. Yeah. Are you talking for K Rock? Yeah, K Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it seems like yeah, it's the only one that matters. So sure, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about. There are other stations. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Beach weather, guys. Congratulations. Thanks for being here, and we can't wait to see you at Big Bear. It's going to be a good time. K Rock Storms Bear Mountain on Saturday. Golf and stuff. Album release and acoustic. And golf happening. No froth, though. Do not bring your frisbees. These guys will not no. play. Come on. Uh, it's, uh, we can't golf. disparage the froth community. Happening at, at Norwalk uh, and uh, and Nick, uh, Reeve, uh, Sean. Congrats on the success, guys. This is awesome. Thanks a lot, Thank man. Thank you. And we'll see you on, on Saturday. We cannot wait. Be there early. Big Bear. We take a quick break. We got more K Rock to get to next.